Hello fellow blenders, this is Peter here with PM Designs. In this video I'm going to show you a super easy kind of cheat or hack way to, to fake claymation or stop motion animation just like this. Um, if you think this looks pretty convincing as claymation, then stick around. If you don't, then I'm sorry I can't help you. You have to go and do it the hard way. This is so easy. It doesn't affect your animation, you don't need to use modifiers, you don't need to mess with your interpolation. It's just, uh, it's just, just ridiculously easy. So I've got my animation here. Um, I borrowed this, well, I stole this model. I, I downloaded this model from Sketchfab. It's a very nice model. I'll put a link in the description. The only problem is that the rig doesn't have any finger bones. So um, yeah, I couldn't be bothered to do anything with that. I just did this really quickly. Uh, so my animation, the animation here is just normal. Let me, if I go into the animation um, graph editor here, you can see it's Bezier mostly, uh, a little bit of linear every now and then. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's just a normal animation. I didn't do anything different to the interpolation. And I don't know how this will play back in the viewport. But um, it's pretty smooth. It doesn't look like claymation much. Okay, so the cheat. The super easy thing to do. Don't mess with the animation. Do your animation as normal. If you want to make it look really realistic, that's cool. If you want to use motion capture, it works, whatever. You don't need to touch your animation. You just render out as PNGs, that's important, and you just come here to where it says frame range and you change step to two. That's it. That's it. It's done. It works. Make sure you're on 24 frames per second. Uh, most claymation or, or stop motion animation is done in 12 to 15 frames per second. So if you render out every other frame at 24 frames per second, you get 12 frames per second essentially, but there's something else you have to do. One thing I will say before I show you the, the next part of it is usually with claymation or stop motion animation, when there are extreme facial expression changes, like sudden, suddenly the guy looks angry or suddenly there's a big smile, that will usually need you to change that to constant interpolation. So when you're doing, so I've got, um, this, this model didn't have eyelids, so I just quickly added some basic eyelids. So when he blinks, it is on constant interpolation. Yeah, so that goes, in one frame it goes from on to off that's the only time because i don't think claymation people are going to bother doing one frame if you think about frames per second they're not going to bother doing one frame of half blink and then another frame of full blink so and facial expressions as well and unless it's like ardman like these wallace and gromit guys they they do sort of high quality animation usually facial expressions will change very suddenly if somebody's talking i've seen the trailer for the new turtles movie which is coming out next move next uh next month it seems like the facial expressions are on constant interpolation when they speak. The mouth is just open and closed. When doing a U shape or an O shape, whatever. So yeah, that's the only time where you have to actually do something with your animation. The rest, you just leave it as is. Then, render out your images. And they're all here. Yeah, you got one, three, five, seven, nine, whatever. That's another important thing I should mention. Uh, you do want to make sure if you're starting on an odd number, yeah, you're starting your animation from an odd number, you want to make sure that your key poses fall on the odd numbers because you're not going to render out the even numbers, so you might miss something. So that's one, one important thing. You get all of these, yeah, and now it, it's really obvious. You might have guessed what to do already, but before I do the step, I'm going to go into my video editor. I'm going to use Blender, just in case some of you don't, you might use Blender as well. I've got my sound set up. And now I'm going to add my images. Yeah, so here they are. Right, so watch this. It's going to be too fast because it's 24 frames per second, but I've got literally only 12 frames per second. So you select all of these and you copy and paste. That's it. So now if I go back in, delete that, add these again. I've got the full length and it looks more stuttered because it's playing, oh, sorry, that's a bit loud, isn't it? It's playing two frames for every one frame. Sorry, two frames for every, well, sorry, it's made two of the same frame instead of, yeah, there we go. So it looks more stuttered. So that is it, super easy. Do your animation as normal, render out with a stepped, stepped animation at two frames. You could do three, 
if you want to, and then you have to, to multiply, you have to duplicate your images three times, and I recommend bringing your frame rate down to 18, I think something about 18, um, but it doesn't, it looks really, it looks like really bad claymation, really bad stop motion animation, so you don't really want to go that far. I think this looks fine. If you found that useful, please drop a like. Thanks very much.